Okay, so today I'm going to do a different type of retro map setup guide, and this is going to be for lovers of shaders. So if you're not sure what shaders are, these are things like scan lines that we can manually put onto our games. So a lot of people aren't aware, but there's actually a wide range of shaders inside the RetroWatch folder that we can actually copy into RetroBat to give us more shaders. So if you're into shaders and you want to add additional ones or just experiment, this video is totally for you, so check this out. Okay, so first things first, like I always say, if you like today's video, hit notifications, subscribe, and like so you don't miss upcoming RetroBat content. And I also cover different front end systems for PC, such as Batacera, Play Night, RetroWatch itself, and many others. I also do a lot of standalone emulation setup guides. So today we're looking at adding shaders from RetroWatch into RetroBat. So let me get into this. So we're going to just go to RetroBat. Okay, so for this guide, I've got a Nintendo game added. And what I'm going to do is just show you the default shaders, what RetroBat comes with. So here is my game. To access shaders, I'm going to go to View Options, Advanced System Options. And under General Settings, we'll see Shader Set. And this is everything that RetroBat has to offer by default. And take a good look at this because I'm going to be adding a shader in a minute which isn't actually here. And the shader I'm going to be adding is a cartoon shader. And like you can see there's no cartoon shader here. So if I just quit out of RetroBat entirely we're going to start doing this. So what we're going to do first is go into the RetroBat directory. So if we just right click on the shortcut of RetroBat, open file location. Now, firstly, to get to your RetroWatch shaders, which are currently in RetroBat, what we're going to do is go into the RetroWatch folder itself. So we're going to head over to Emulators. And from Emulators, we're going to find RetroWatch. And if we just go inside of this folder, from here, we're going to find a shaders folder. And here it is. So we got two folders here. Uh, the first one, GLSL. This is the shaders available for OpenGL. And the next one, which is Slang, uh, this is actually recommended by RetroBat, the developers of RetroBat, that is. And this is compatible with Vulkan Direct, 3D, 10, 11, and 12, and OpenGL. So what we're gonna do, as we know, we're in the RetroWatch folder now, and we will add these to RetroBat. So I'm going to go for the GLSL folder and inside of here, this is all of our shaders. So the one I'm going to be looking for is ADV Cartoon. So if I just search for this one, and this particular shader ADV Cartoon is in the cell folder. So if I just go in here and what we're going to do next is then for add it into RetroBat. So if we back out of here at the RetroArch folder, and once we're in the RetroBat directory again, we're going to look for the folder called System. And in System, we're going to find Shaders. If you just go into Shaders, and then we got Configs. And we're now in Configs, and this is all the shaders that RetroBat currently has on it. Is create a new folder for this one in this Configs directory. So if I just right click on the empty space, New Folder, and I'm going to title this folder, ADV Cartoon. So that's created a new folder. What we're going to do is just go into ADV Cartoon and I'm going to create a new file. So I'm going to right click inside of this folder I've just created. And if I go to new, I'm going to go to text document and I'm going to call this text document rendering hyphen defaults. And where the text is, the .txt, if we just backspace or delete this, we're going to make this into the file extension of YML. And we're going to press yes on file extension, it might become unusable if we just press yes on this. And now we can see the type is also changed to YML file. If we open this up with notepad again, what I'm going to type in here 
is default. So after you've typed in default, if we just go back to the RetroBat directory, we're going to go back into where the RetroArch shader folder is located. So we're going to go to emulators again. And if we just scroll down again until we get to RetroArch. And just scroll down again until we see shaders. And GOSL in my case. And here's Cell. So if I just go into cell, and I'm going to just highlight the bar at the top, the search bar, and just right click on this and copy. And if we go back to this .yml file we just created, what I'm going to do is just type in shader. And if I just paste that text which I've just got from the search bar, and forward slash, and now I'm going to type in the shader file name which is ADV Cartoon. And no file extension needed for this, so I'm going to go to File and save this. And if we go back into RetroBat now, and before I show you this, let's just remind ourselves that certain shaders are for OpenGL uh, backend drivers, which is GLSL. And the slang is compatible with Vulkan Direct 3D 10 11 12. So, firstly, to make sure that you are using the right backends, video backends, uh, inside your games folder, if you just go to View Options, Advanced System Options, and under Drivers, which is under Advanced Settings, uh, you'll see video, and this is what I'm saying. So we can see OpenGL here, which is RetroBat's default video backend driver. Uh, but if you're using a slang file for your shaders, then obviously slang is going to be used with Vulkan. So just bear that in mind. And if you're, for example, using a shader file, for slang then you will need to change this video driver over uh, but for now what we're going to do is as we can see under shader set we have got the ADV cartoon file and that's ready to use so if you remember from the start of my video this one certainly wasn't here so that's how you do it and it really is that simple so that's it for my RetroBat setup guide today. Uh, like I said at the start of the video, if you're new to my channel and you like what you see today, be sure to hit notifications, subscribe and like so you don't miss upcoming RetroBat content as well as a plentitude of different front end PC systems that I do on my channel as well as many other standalone emulation setup guides. And also be sure to join me on Facebook Instagram, Twitter and TikTok. And just one last thing, I'm looking for donations for my channel through PayPal. I'm aiming to expand my channel uh, to do portable emulation setup guides. So any donation will be grateful and I just want to get our channel bigger and better than ever. So until next time, stay retro.